Kim here, and you are tuned into Kim E, the Diabetes MP. Today, we're going to talk about proper foot care, foot care for the diabetic. Now, just like hypoglycemia, the topic that I covered last week, this is a topic, a subject matter that you have to make sure that you're talking to all of your diabetics about, okay? Even if they're newly diagnosed, even if they've been a diabetic for a long time, everybody needs to be talked to and educated over proper foot care. And this is something that needs to happen on a consistent basis. Not only do we need to be educating, but there's also things that we need to be doing in the office. We need to be looking at feet in the office on a consistent basis. Now, if you're looking to learn more about proper foot care as the provider, helping and educating and treating the diabetic, stay tuned, let's get right into it. Now, like I said in the intro, we as the providers, we need to be concerned about the feet, okay? This is just one of those things that when you see your patients, we need to be looking at their feet. We need to be talking to them about their feet. We need to encourage them and empower them to be doing um, daily foot checks, okay? We need to teach them what that looks like and we need to be We need to be also making sure that they understand the importance of proper foot care. Now, of course, with any type of um, complication, you know, we're always looking to prevent complications. We're always looking to slow down any process that's already going. And we know as diabetics, they are more at risk for neuropathy, okay? A lot of them, if not all of them, are going to have some form, even if it's a mild case of neuropathy. But we're also, that's on one end of the spectrum, but also on the other end of the spectrum, we're also looking to prevent amputations. So we're looking to prevent complications and we're also looking to stop whatever is going on in its track to slow it down. Now I've made videos over diabetes complications and I'll make sure to link that down in the description box where I went over different um, different complications, neuropathy being one of them. So make sure that after you watch this video, you go to the description box and you go ahead and you watch those other complication videos as well. In this video, I am addressing us. I'm addressing addressing the provider. What do we need to be doing on our behalf when they come into the hospital? I mean, they come into the clinic, not the hospital. This is going to be outpatient, okay? Now, one of the things that we need to be doing regularly is looking at their feet, okay? And especially if you know that this is a person that is at risk for some sensory loss, we need to be looking at their feet every visit. This is a great time to see if you need to write an order for a pair of diabetic shoes and diabetic supplies, you know, diabetic socks, compression socks. If you're seeing that their shoes, maybe they have diabetic shoes, but they're old. Maybe this is a good time for you to have them leave the office with a prescription to get another pair. And the insurances do give them, um, they do cover um, diabetic supplies. That's part of their durable medical equipment. And so you can send them with a prescription if it's needed. Now, when we're looking at the feet, we're checking for color. We're looking for redness. We're looking at deformities. Are there any calluses, any corns starting to rise up? We're looking at all of these things. We then go and we feel the feet. We're looking, we're feeling for temperature. We're, the, we're looking at the cap refill. We're checking to see for the, all these things check for circulation, okay? We're not only just looking at the toes and the feet and we just stop at the ankle, we're also looking at the ankle. We're even coming up the leg a little bit, checking for any edema, any swelling, anything like that. We're checking for pulses. We're checking for um, reflexes. We're looking at the feet and just doing a quick look over right quick and it doesn't take long that's why I said quick it doesn't take long you know you can do a lot of things at the same time you know while you're looking at the feet you can feel to see if the if their extremities are cool a lot of these things can happen all at the same time but we do need to be looking and inspecting the feet now there are tests that we can use to screen for PAD peripheral artery disease and again I went over this in the diabetes complication when I was talking talking about neuropathy, but there are two tests that are really big out there now, and that's the QuantaFlow test, and that's also the ABI, okay, the ankle brachial index test. Now, the ABI is more, 
intensive than the quantum flow test. What I have found is that the quantum flow test is not a perfect test, but it's a good screening tool to pick up the beginnings of something. Okay. If you need a little bit more in-depth results, you may want to go to the ABI. You can do that in your office, but a lot of times you can send them out to a lab and they can do it for you if you're short on hand or if you don't know the proper technique. The quantum flow you can do quickly in your test. It takes all about a minute. You know, it takes all about a minute to do. Um, it's 15 seconds on each extremity, but it's a good screening tool. Now, some other things that you can do to test for different sensations, you can use a monofilament test. It's a very small fiber, kind of like a little plastic stick that you can use and kind of not really, I won't, I, I guess the word is not prick, but touch the person's foot at different spaces on the bottom of their foot to see if they can they can feel light touch, okay? Um, that's a very good test. You also want to see if they feel the sensation of vibration. You can use a tuning fork for that. And then also doing ankle reflexes, as I mentioned earlier. And again, if you need a little bit more detail as to what these things look like, I will put videos, um, video links in the description box. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope this video was informative that you learned something new. I hope that I was able to provide you with the need to know info and to summarize the overall things that we need to be concerned with as the provider when it comes to diabetic foot care. Again, check that description box because I have a lot of videos linked there that you can reference if you need a little bit more information on certain tests, different procedures, things like that. Again, if you're not already subscribed subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that button, ding that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. And if you're on Instagram, I'm very social on Instagram. That is my preferred social media platform. My handle is at the diabetes MP. And there is one thing that I want to make sure that I cover with you guys. Don't want to log off before I say this. Let us never, ever leave a nurse behind. Okay. I'll catch you later. later.